The 12 members Senate committee tasked with resolving the third basis revenue sharing formula for counties is set to present its report to the Senate leadership tomorrow. Senators who, however, remained guarded over the contents of the report assured the nation that the revenue deadlock will be unlocked when Senate convenes a, sen a special sitting to discuss the impasse. The proverbial white smoke appears to have finally billowed out of the Senate, with 12 senators tasked with coming up with an amicable formula to share 316 billion shillings among counties, saying they have reached a middle ground after considering several simulations. Tomorrow, the committee will be presenting its findings and outcome in a report form to the leadership of the House led by the Speaker and the House leadership. At all the options that we've had before us, um, all of those that have been proposed by our colleagues and ourselves, and we are confident to say that uh, when we look at each other as one indivisible country, then a solution is nigh. Members of the committee co-chaired by Nairobi Senator Johnson Sakaja and Bungoma Senator Moses Wetangula, however, remained tight-tripped over the contents of the report, but say the broker deal will end the stalemate that has placed the Senate over the spot over the number of times the House has adjourned over lack of a consensus. We will not and we are not allowed by standing orders of the House to divulge the content of the report until it is presented to the Speaker and found, find its way to the House. But we want to assure Kenyans that the impasse that has been in the media and on everybody's lips is going. The revenue sharing deadlock has previously seen senators disagree on the floor of the House, with the sitting being adjourned for a record nine times. The proposals, as contained in the report according to the senators, is likely to get the backing of a majority of members and will bring to an end the ongoing suffering in counties owing to cash traps, as counties could not access 100% of their yearly allocations. For Channel One News, I'm Gladys Mungai.